Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to prepare a delicious rice recipe that is not just easy to prepare but it comes out super delicious because sometimes even if we don't have the right ingredients to prepare a recipe we can use what we have and create something absolutely amazing. And you may surprise yourself at what you can create with just ingredients you already have on hand. Before we get started I'd like to invite you to subscribe to our channel. And make sure to hit the notification bell so you can receive notification each time we upload a new video. And you'll never miss out on future recipes. With that said, let's get started with the recipe. First, we're going to rinse the rice by placing it in a strainer and running it under cold water until the water runs clear. Then I place it over a bowl or a measuring cup for about 10 to 15 minutes or until the rice is completely dry. Otherwise, your rice is going to turn into lumps. So you want to make sure it's completely dry before you begin to fry the rice. Over medium high heat, preheat your preferred cooking oil. Add in the dry rice and saute for about 4 to 5 minutes with frequent movement or until it's lightly toasted. Or you can fry the vegetables first and then add in the rice. I prepared it both ways and both ways it comes out perfectly. Now we're going to add in the vegetables which I'm going to be using half a red bell pepper, two serrano peppers, a fourth of an onion, and two garlic cloves finely minced. If you're not a fan of spicy food, you can substitute the serrano peppers for half a green bell pepper. Mix in the ingredients and saute for an additional minute or until the onion and the garlic are nice and fragrant. For this recipe, I used one and a half cups of rice, which means I need to add three cups of water or three cups of chicken broth. We're also gonna mix in half a teaspoon of Mexican oregano, a fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper, and two tablespoons of tomato chicken bouillon, or you can use salt to your liking. Keep in mind that we did not use tomato for this recipe. Using tomato chicken bouillon is not only going to add a lot of flavor to the rice, but it's also going to add a lot of color. Mix in the seasonings and once it reaches a boil, turn down the burner to low and cover for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, most of the water will have simmered down. At this point, we're going to mix in the zucchini we're going to cover it once again and we're going to leave it on the burner for one more minute. After that additional minute, turn off the burner and keep it covered for at least 10 to 15 minutes before serving. So the rice has been resting for about 10-15 minutes. Now we're going to uncover it to see what it looks like. My lid has a little hole on the top. Most lids do, but when I'm making rice, I like to cover it up with a little piece of paper towel so the steam doesn't escape and the rice gets nice and fluffy. So now let's uncover it and see what it looks like. It's a little bit hot, so I'm gonna use one of these. That way I don't drop the lid. Okay, ready? As you can see, the rice is now perfectly done. It's nice and fluffy, and the zucchini is not overly cooked. It's perfectly done as well. And now it's ready to enjoy with your favorite recipes. When serving my rice, I like to give it a nice presentation by adding a few spoonfuls into a small bowl like this one. Using the spoon, I'm going to press down on the rice until it's completely compacted into the bowl. Very carefully, I'm going to flip it over onto the dish and it gives a beautiful presentation when serving your dishes. This rice goes great with just about any recipe. For your next meal, give this recipe a try and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video.